My name is Caroline Nguyen. I'm from Orange County, California. My name is Jacob Bessler. I'm from Hebron, Kentucky. Uh, my name is Jeff Bader. I'm from Virginia. My name is Brooke Larson. I'm from South Dakota. I did my undergraduate at Northern State University in Aberdeen, South Dakota. And I did medical school at Edward Via College of Osteopathic Medicine in Spartanburg, South Carolina. My career goals, ultimately I would like to be a cardiologist um, and do interventional cardiology. And I went to uh, undergraduate school at UCLA School of Engineering. And I went to my medical school at the Uniformed Services University in Bethesda, Maryland. And currently I'm a third year internal medicine resident and I'm currently applying for a cardiology fellowship. Uh, I went to undergrad at the United States Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, and I did my medical school at the University of Louisville. I'm married. I have a wife, Bethany, and one daughter, Ava. I actually went to college in Salem, um, Roanoke College, and then for medical school moved to Richmond, Virginia, and went to uh, Virginia Commonwealth University. And then been here for the past, going on three years now, and I'm applying to gastroenterology fellowship. So initially I wanted to be a general surgeon as you know, a medical student and then I realized that didn't really provide the balance I was looking for, So, but I was still really interested in procedures so I chose this program, like the one selling factor was the amount of procedures you're able to do. The great thing about this program is that there's not any, there isn't any fellows here so I'm not competing with them and so this allows me to work with staff one on one to you know, learn procedures directly from them. And so we have unique uh, experiences where we get to work with the cardiologist, we get to go in the cath lab, we get to place A-lines, and we get to assist with diagnostic angiographies. So it's really unique to Kiesler. So one, that was one, just the amount of procedures that we could do. Uh, another aspect was that, you know, again, there's no fellows, so that means we, ha we are allowed to build this really close relationship with the staff. So, you know, if I have a question, I can just swing by their office and be like, hey, can I curbside you on this? And, you know, um, can you help me with this? And they're like, yeah, of course, yeah, no problem. So, you know, there is a barrier to doing that. We just, it's just very easy to get in contact with them, and they're so reciproca reciprocal, and they're really friendly, and it's just really nice to have that. I was looking for a program that had good didactics, for attendings that were interested in your learning and for a residency program that was supportive of you inside of the workplace and outside. I looked at all Air Force programs and I thought that the program at Keesler provided the best of those three um, traits. It had a program that was supportive. The residents and the staff were interested in your learning. They were concerned about your development both professionally and personally. Um, and the training here um, at Keesler itself, um, you have a great variety and depth of training and you have also have the opportunity to do training outside of Keesler um, at Jackson where you see some of the sickest patients in one of the most underserved states in the nation. And you also have the opportunity to travel overseas and take care of our active duty service men and women in Germany. Um, and I think those opportunities were were several of the reasons why I decided to come to Keesler Medical Center for my residency training. I came here specifically because it was a smaller program and there was a lot of one-on-one -on -one with all of the staff, so that was a big thing for me. And kind of tying in with that, um, so I'm applying to a fellowship training, so that's kind of the next tier of doctor's training. We don't have those here, which means that we get all the direct interactions, we get all the like hands-on training, so we get to do a lot of things that normal medicine residents don't get to do, be it in the cath lab or getting to do scopes like in GI. Um, and then um, I just like the people here. So it was just a very personable, small residency. There was a really good group right in the year ahead of me. And so I wanted to be a part of that. My top three traits that I was looking for in a residency program was probably a smaller program. Uh, I went to a small undergraduate college. I went to a small medical school. So I was looking for that tight knit community and I think Kiesler really provides that. The, that smaller program, getting a lot of hands-on access, um, we get handed a lot more responsibility than what I think a lot of residents do earlier in their career. And then getting all those opportunities to work one-on-one -on -one with people gave me a much better idea of like what it actually means to be a nephrologist, a cardiologist, just staying in internal medicine or in hospital medicine. And that, I'm glad I did that because it helped guide what I wanted to do. My decision to come to Keesler Medical Center was based on several factors, including 
the strength of the program here, the residents that were here already. A lot of it was based on their enthusiasm about the program. I think that's one of the things that made Keesler stand out among all the other options in the Air Force was how enthusiastic not only the program director was, but each of the resident, residents was about this program. They all seemed genuinely interested in me and in what my career goals were, and they seemed um, passionate about this program. And I thought that I wanted to be somewhere where everyone who was there wanted to be there and wanted to learn and wanted to train, and that's why I chose to come to Keesler. I actually interviewed at Keesler and everybody was just so friendly. It was great walking around the hospital and you'd be walking around and people would say, hey, how are you doing today? Or, you know, if you're looking a little bit lost with all the construction that was going on at the time, um, you know, everybody was willing to offer directions anywhere and it just felt like home. People were very friendly and welcoming and it just, you know, Southern hospitality at its finest. Um, so what I've discovered is, you know, how great our residents come out of this program. So I've realized, you know, after um, going through this, seeing how autonomous our residents are, uh, you know, we go to other hospitals, we rotate at Jackson, we rotate um, a little bit at SAMC for our audition rotations for our fellowship, and I can see how autonomous we are. We're able to do procedures very comfortably, we don't need supervision, we're allowed to do these procedures by ourselves. Um, we're, we are also a little more versed in our um, guideline directed practices. You know, we have more time to do didactics. There's a lot more protected didactics time. There's a lot more time for us to pursue all the studies that we want, pursue research, pursue, um, you know, doing all the question banks to be adequately prepared for our board exams. And so um, at our program, just our program, our residents are so strong by the time they graduate, they're like going to excel every single one excel on their um, as a staff and they all you know pass their boards without any issues and so um, this program just creates very strong um, residents who will later become internal medicine staff. Since becoming a resident uh, I've just discovered that I enjoy the program a lot more than I thought I would um, which is surprising because I thought I would like it quite a bit. Um, the residents are just as great as I thought they would be. The attendings are amazing. They're very willing to help you out and willing to teach you, which is, I mean, awesome. And we have great patients. Um, you know, they're extremely grateful and some of the nicest patients I've ever encountered. So it's fun taking care of them. Uh, I really enjoy it. Since I became a resident here, I discovered that the patients that we take care of are the best patients that anyone has to take care of. We take care of a retired Air Force population. Uh, they are the most grateful patients I've ever cared for. And on top of that, we also have the opportunity to train in Jackson, Mississippi. And Mississippi is one of the most underserved states in the nation. We get to do critical care in the main hospital in the state and see some of the sickest patients and most interesting cases that I've seen in my career so far. Um, well, I met my wife here, so that's pretty good. I, I think it, I think in terms of like the program itself, it was all things that I thought it was going to be. Being a smaller program, um, you can't, you're under a microscope more in some ways. You can't really hide, and so that um, kind of pushes you into the open and to taking those responsibilities, and that was definitely a positive thing for me in terms of growing as a physician. Uh, there's so much to do here. You know, I'm from Orange County, California, and I've that's I pretty much lived in a bubble. And so coming to the South is very new to me. But um, I've learned so much about this place. There's so much history. There's so much culture. You can drive an hour and a half to New Orleans, and that's what I did a lot in my intern year, in my second year, and even now. You know, I just go down there for an hour and a half, and you go to Mardi Gras. You can go to um, there's festivals pretty much every single month. Every you know every so so many weeks, there's great food, there's so much music. Um, also, if you know, you're not into that scene, then you can, if you're interested in the beaches, then you can go to Pensacola, you can go to Florida. There's just so many opportunities to do things here. I really enjoy the Biloxi area. I like the coast life. It's definitely something that I was looking forward to moving down here. The summers are hot, but with the water around, you can always get out, you can go fishing. Um, there's plenty of things to do in the local area. I especially enjoy spending time with my family when I do have time off uh, and this area offers plenty of things for families 
um, and it's a short driving distance from some of the best beaches in the world. Now that it's cooled down a little bit, I do enjoy going outside and doing, uh, there's hiking in the area, you can go to New Orleans if you need the big city. Um, I've heard that there's surfing in Ocean Springs, so I'm going to give that a try. Um, just all of the water sports everywhere, boating, um, any kind of water sports you can imagine. The beaches are close and they're beautiful. Uh, it's just a really fun area, a lot of stuff to do. My wife and I, we've actually been like super active. We're kind of just, the whole, everything with being in the Air Force is kind of like an adventure where we get to live in places we never would have probably ended up otherwise. We don't have family down here. So we're, we're pretty active about going up and down the coast and checking out all the small towns. We've kind of had a Mississippi bucket list and gone to Oxford and Vicksburg and throughout the Delta. So we've enjoyed kind of checking out all the small towns and then um, just, I love New Orleans. So that's been great to have such close access to it. I would absolutely recommend Keesler Medical Center as a place to train for internal medicine. I think it offers a unique environment where you can focus on patient care. You have months where you can spend a lot of time taking care of patients. You don't have any fellowship training here, so you work directly with attending physicians to help manage and take care of your patients. Yeah, I mean, what, what's unique about it is that um, you are under that microscope. You get the one-on-one -on -one time with all of the staff. You get the opportunity to um, procedures and to handle a level of responsibility that's not expected from you very early in your career and you can really seize on those opportunities. So I'd recommend this as a program for somebody who, who wants to take, who's ready for that onus of responsibility and, and um, can seize on that because you know it's all, any residency anywhere you go is what you make out of it and you have to really push yourself but um, if you want it here the opportunities I think are a lot greater than what you could get somewhere else. One thing that I think makes Keesler really unique is just the fact that it, it's a smaller program, but you see a lot of very interesting cases, a lot of good learning opportunities, and you get a close relationship with the attendings and with your other residents so that you're able to learn from you know, people with great experience and people that have seen this and just very able and willing to teach you. And so it's really easy to learn and to thrive in this environment. So I've really enjoyed that. Us residents have so, uh, we have such a strong voice in how we can drive our education. So, you know, if we, well, as I mentioned before, if we have any concerns, we voice them and typically it gets addressed. And um, so that's really unique to this program. Um, also, again, you know, how closely we work with our subspecialists, you know, we get to build that bond. Um, and as a result, you know, they really foster us to be great as whatever we want to do, whether it's an internal medicine staff or a subspecialist. Um, they typically, you know, um, hand out research projects to us. Um, if we're interested in something, then they'll find you and they'll connect you with somebody. So um, that's really unique to this program. And I would definitely recommend this program to um, potential medical students.